Welcome back. Now, today we have the pleasure of speaking with Andrea Caschetto, widely known as the Ambassador of Smiles. At just 34 years old, this inspiring individual from Ragusa, Sicily in Italy, has dedicated his life to spreading joy and hope to children and communities in need around the globe. With a remarkable journey that has taken him to over 108 countries, Andrea's mission transcends borders, aiming to uplift spirits and foster kindness. Join us as we delve into Andrea's experiences, insights and the impact of his work during his visit to Namibia. Andrea, good uh, evening and welcome. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to meet you to speak with the Namibian people. I say sorry for my horrible English, <laughs> but maybe with my happiness, you can understand something. Yeah. First of all, this is your first time in Namibia, right? So what's your impression of Namibia been so far? It's amazing country, mm -hmm. very clean, good people, good food, amazing <laughs> children. So sometimes I think uh, maybe I should live in Namibia. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to us, Andrea, about who you are, of course. A lot of people watching this evening are seeing the title Ambassador of Smiles and they're wondering what that is. So give us a little bit of background on who Andrea is and, of course, what inspired you to become uh, the ambassador of smiles. Yes, this is my story because when I was 15 years old, I had a cancer. Like you can see, this was uh, my, I don't know in English the name, like scab, scar, scar, scar. Yes. scar. yes, thank you. And uh, after my cancer, I became Mr. Memory Zero. <laughs> so it wasn't a beautiful nickname. Mm -hmm. And thank you for the first experience that I did in one orphanage in South Africa. I start to remember everything because I understood that everything that touch our emotions is impossible to forget. Yes, yes. yes. So for this reason, I became Mr. Smile because I traveled the world to play with children in orphanage and hospital. Yeah. Tell me a little bit more about your, your journey and being diagnosed with, I think it was a brain tumor at 15, yes. um, the treatment you had to go, go through and how that experience was at such a young age. Yeah, for me it was... Uh, horrible experience when I started because I was in a wheelchair mm -hmm. and uh, people look at me in a different way. But I was always Andrea, but because I was sit down, people look at me in a different way. So this we must teach to everybody. If there is someone in wheelchair, if there is someone blind, if there is someone with uh, Down syndrome, there are people with them name. We must speak with everybody. We must give love to everybody. So. Thanks to the children, I grew up, I start to walk again and I start to travel. And when I started 19 years old from Africa, in South Africa, Peter Matisgur, I never stopped. Wow. You've traveled to over 108 countries and yes. I'm sure you've got so many beautiful memories from all of your travels. But what are some of the pivotal moments that stand out for you as you know, go from country to country doing this amazing work? Okay. Something that is impossible to forget was when I was in uh, Uganda and they saw one child, eight years old, and inside the eyes of the child, I saw the God. And I said, oh, it is possible, this power. Because always when I play with children, I feel a lot of emotion. No? But this child had infinite emotion inside. And I asked him, but why are you so happy? And he said to me in an orphanage, eh, Andrea, because Tomorrow I will meet for the first ma time my mother and my father because I am adopted. So I also now that I say <laughs> this to you, I feel a, a lot of emotion. And uh, that became my mission, help children to find a family. Mm, yeah. That's fantastic. Yes. You're in Namibia now. Tell us about what brought you to Namibia and what you're doing here. I'm in Namibia because since uh, when I was young, my dream was to visit the desert and ocean because mm -hmm. it's the only place in the world. But after when I came here since the first day, I said, OK, I will go tomorrow. Today I play with children. I will go tomorrow. Now it's two <laughs> weeks that I'm here. And always I say I will visit another time because you can see many beautiful things in the world. I saw Taj Mahal in India, Jesus in uh, Rio de Janeiro, man, the wall in, in China. But is never so beautiful like one hour to play with children, two hours to play the children. So something that I would like to suggest to Namibian people is to visit children, to visit old people. Mm -hmm. Life is only one. If we give love to other people, we receive a lot of love. Yeah. Yeah. And you're also an author, a best-selling author, yes. might I add. Tell me about that, your writing journey and you know, about the books that you've written. Yes, I wrote five books and were published three in Italian. I hope that very soon they will be also in English because it should be beautiful 
to give free to people <laughs> in Africa online because yeah. I don't care about money, but I love to give emotions. Yeah. So maybe many people, when they can read my books, they can change the point of view of yeah. the life. And every day that I'm here in Namibia, because I have a lot of inspiration in the night when you sleep, I write many beautiful things thanks to the people that I'm meeting every day. Fantastic. What are your future goals, Andrea, in continuing you know, your mission of uh, positivity and, and compassion? One of my future mission goals is to help a lot of uh, teenagers that they stay in the prison mm -hmm. because I've been in Africa in many prisons for teenagers and it was a difficult situation but I know that if we speak to them not like a, someone horrible but like teenagers, children, that mm -hmm. they can have a different life we can change a lot of things. And maybe one guy from one prison will be the president of Namibia yeah. and he will help people. And something that I won't say about this, I'm very proud about Namibian people because in Italy, people is very boring to do a line to vote. And here they did uh, 12, <laughs> 13, 40, 15 hours. Yeah. So congratulations yeah. to everybody. <laughs> so you were here when we had elections? You yeah. were in the country that yeah, time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I saw yeah. and uh, I was surprised because never saw this in, in Europe. Yeah. So congratulations to people in Namibia that believe in this. And I hope that who will be here, man, woman, must be good. So yeah. I hope good future for Namibia. Thank you so much. We appreciate yes. that. Where to next uh, for Andrea Caschetto? Uh, okay, maybe I will go in Angola or Botswana because I like a lot to move by, by bus. Yeah. But I don't know when because uh, I really enjoyed it. I'm in Namibia. So every day I say, <laughs> okay, okay, maybe in the future. So yeah. sure for Christmas, I will be here yeah. with some children in, uh, in some orphanage mm -hmm. because this is my best uh, time to share Christmas because I don't have any more my grandparents mm -hmm. before they were me. They were my Christmas time. And now mm -hmm. without my grandparents, only children can give to me the same love. So Andrea, we'll you, you're on social media, of course, Facebook, Instagram, for yes. you know, people that want to follow you, see what you're up to, and even support what you're doing. Um, what are your social media handles? Yes, it's better if uh, they can write, because my pronunciation is horrible, <laughs> is Andrea Caschetto in Instagram, mm -hmm. Facebook. Mm -hmm. They can write to me also if they want to invite me to meet them, because I really love to meet local people, to eat with local people. If they know some contacts to go around Namibia to visit children that they need help. Mm -hmm. But remember, I'm a, with children, I'm a magician. <laughs> so this is what I like to do, give yeah. to them happiness. So if many people contact me, ah, money, money. I can help a lot. <laughs> if there is time to share love, I yeah. can do everything. Fantastic. Okay. So write to me, everybody. Andrea Caschetto. Okay, so thank you very much. Thank you so much for being here and I hope you enjoy the rest of your time in Namibia. Yes, it was a pleasure and I want to say thank you to you because my friend Alicia from Umbrella Initiative Foundation spoke in an amazing way about you because you are a person with a good heart. Thank For this you. reason, I came here because many television invite me and there are people that think only to be polite in front of the camera, no? yeah. blah, blah, blah. and after I'm polite. <laughs> but you are polite also Thank outside you. the camera. So for this reason, oh, I was here. I Thank you very much. Thank Life you so is much. beautiful. Indeed Thank it you. is. <laughs> Thank you. Thank that you. was Andrea Caschetto, the ambassador of smiles all the way from Italy here in Namibia, spreading positivity and compassion. We'll be right back after this brief break with some more conversation to stay with us.